Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I explain to you how to fix the access is denied error when using Windows Update Services. And Microsoft Windows Services are programs that run in the background. They enable users to create long-running executable applications that run in their own Windows sessions. These services can be started automatically when the computer boots, paused, or restarted. Although it is not known what can cause the access denied error when using Windows services. But there is a solution. For example, some users when they update Windows 10, they receive an error message stating that Windows 10 is unable to perform updates. Because of an unknown reason, I have tried many solutions to find a solution to this problem and the error that appears during Windows update. The first thing you need to do is open Windows services to make sure everything is fine. Open the search box, type services, and open it from the search results. And from the Windows Services window, look for the Windows Update service. Right click on it and select properties. But you will notice that all options are disabled. Click on properties to understand more. Here, if you choose or select any of the startup type options, you will find that it displays a message, access is denied. This means that you, as a user, are unable to change the Windows Update service due to something unknown. Therefore, you will not be able to edit any option. Therefore, you will not be able to change or fix the Windows Update problem. To fix this problem, first know the username with which you log into Windows. For me, the user is administrator, and even though I log in with admin, there is a problem. The next step is to open the registry editor to modify some permissions. Open the run box and type the shortcut regedit to access the registry editor. After that, from the left side, access the path that appears in front of you on the screen. I will leave the path for you in the description of the video. After reaching this path, we must know the name of the service for which we will edit permissions. Return to the services window and open the Windows Update service to find out the name of the service. You will find name of the service at the top of the page. Know the name well, and then return to the registry editor window, and select the folder that has the same name as the service. You can type the first letter of the service name, to access the folder named with the same name as the service. After that, right click on the service folder, and select permissions. Here in the window for specifying permissions for this service, you will find that the permissions are for the creator owner, and the system and there is no user called administrator. Do not click the add button, but click on the advanced button. Click on the enable inheritance button at the bottom. Tad all available users and the administrator user is among these users. If it is not there, add it manually or click on the word change at the top and edit the permissions for the administrator. After making sure that the user you want exists, click OK. In this window, give the user and users full control permissions, so that you can access all the options of this service, which is the Windows Update service. You can close the registry editor window, and then open the services window. Double click on the Windows Update service, and select or change the startup type options. You will immediately find that the service is running, and you can start these services automatically when you turn on, pause, or restart your computer. And without any problem. After that, open Windows Settings to access the Updates section to verify whether the Windows Updates problem has been resolved or not. Click on the Retry button and wait to see whether the problem is solved and Windows will perform the updates or not. The problem has already been solved and Windows is now able to perform the updates. I hope that the video is useful to you. And thank you for watching. I also hope you subscribe to my channel. Thank you all.